What's up guys, I'm Taylor with TK Disc Golf and today we are reviewing the Time Lapse, Simon Lazat's new distance driver in his lineup. It's got the flight numbers 12 speed, 5 glide, minus 1 turn, and 3 fade, making it an absolute smasher off the tee. We're one of the first people in the world to have the stock stamp in our hands to review today, so let's dive right into it. Starting off, we're going to take a look at the side profiles real fast, comparing the prototype run to the stock run. Now, looking at the parting line height or the PLH, they're virtually identical. The stock run might be a smidge lower, but not too, too much. What you're really gonna notice is the dome difference. The stock run has quite a bit more dome than the prototype, which will help enhance the glide. When you flip the discs over, it's very noticeable that there's more dome on the stock run. In the hand though, if you haven't held a lot of MVP's newer run discs, super, super smooth on all the edges. They're not sharp like other brands. It's not gonna cut your hand like a razor braid when you throw this thing. It literally feels like you're holding a stick of butter very very comfortable and it just wants to rip out of the hand so nicely and not actually hurt yourself now moving on to the field work portion of this video we did throw a few shots in here of the prototype just to show a couple comparisons of the proto versus the stock because if you've been online over the past couple weeks you've seen lots of comments of people saying yo the prototype is flying a lot more overstable than i was anticipating because everybody's familiar with the 12 5 minus 1 3 drivers very dependable mashable but not insanely overstable you can still throw these things and get good distance with them even if you're an average player and everybody was saying that the prototype is just really overstable for what they were expecting it to be now the stock run definitely fixes this in my opinion it's got nice dome a lot more glide for me and i was having no trouble throwing this thing flat actually seeing a little bit of that minus one turn and then always fading back at the end no problems at all i'm usually throwing like 168 to 172 drivers in my bag and this is a 175 distance driver i don't usually throw max weight and my average distance is usually like 350 is like my golf game i can pump them out to 375 with like a flippy or mayhem or something like that but being able to get this disc out to 350 for a max weight driver, I was quite impressed with. The glide is seriously no joke for an overstable driver, making it still very useful at my arm speed. Now, obviously, in order to get that minus one turn, you're going to have to be thrown close to 400 feet or more in order to see the true flight numbers of this disc. But if you're an average power thrower, getting about 300 feet or so on your max drives, Seriously, pick one of these up. I think you could really enjoy it from some nice utility shots, whether you're looking for low ceiling skip shots or throwing it on some nice forehand lines. Seriously, though, the forehands were a blast with this thing. You can throw it flat, hard, and trust it's not going to turn and burn on you. Nice glide straight with a good skip at the end. Really, really fun on that line. Me personally, I think I'm going to end up bagging this disc as more of a headwind style disc. It's not going to replace my max distance drivers just because it is pretty overstable for me still. But into a headwind, this thing very dependable, and that's what I'm going to shoot for. Alrighty, guys, that concludes our quick review video of the Simon Line time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're looking to pick one of these up, be sure to hit up your local retailer on Black Friday. That's when they're hitting the shelves. If you want to see more videos from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date, and we will see you on the next one.